and welcome back. I'm Mia Cat Chris, and today we're going to be playing Resident Evil. Uh, not the original Resident Evil, but the remake of Resident Evil. Mainly because it's a little more forgiving than the original is. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. It's still a bit challenging, but you know, it's just it's just a bit too difficult on the original nowadays. Yeah, we're gonna be starting a new game. Um, Resident Evil. Nobody likes anybody who plays on the easiest difficulty, and I don't want to be playing on the toughest difficulty, so we'll settle for the middle option. Approved. Thank you, game. Who should we be? We can either be this guy with the super generic name or the master of unlocking. I, I think I'd rather be the master of unlocking, mainly because Chris is actually really boring in this first Resident Evil. I don't know about how you guys feel about it, but he's just so boring. He was actually the person I played as first, but this is Jill's game, okay? This, this is Jill's game. And plus she's got a hat. And I like my hats. So we're gonna go with Jill. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. Victims were apparently eaten. Apparently. How do you just casually say that? I mean, they were apparently eaten. Helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. No, not Kevin! We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into... a nightmare. At least it was more like a good dream before that. There she is. Good old Jill with the hat. <sighs> Doggy! Doggy! <laughs> No bad dog, bad dog. No, you won't get any treats if you treat the men like this. Go find your owners. I'm sure they'll feed you if you ask. Just say bad doggy. It works. Just shout bad doggy, bad doggy. Oh, okay. No need to kill the dog. <laughs> it was just after its din din. Yeah, you better run. Make for that mansion. Hey, that mansion looks nice, doesn't it? It's got all the lights still on. It'll be fine. A nice little deserted mansion in the middle of the woods. What What could go wrong? Enter the survival horror. Okay. There are only three STARS members left now. We don't know where Chris is. That's because he's busy in Raccoon City looking for a save point. Uh, uh, unless you mean proper Chris, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, d I don't know where he is. Where's Chris? I'm right here. But we've got to find... Jill, go and investigate. <clears throat> here we go. Oh, God, okay, I can't remember how you play this. Okay, well, we've got our ink ribbon. Nah, we, won't, we don't need it yet. We'll be fine. I think you'd better take a look at this. Why? What is it? What's going on? Oh, who spilled the jam? Blood. Blood? Are you sure, Barry? Are you sure? I mean, you, you seem to be enjoying tasting it. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I'm, I'm fine. I don't, I, it's not my blood. Although I do like my jam. Maybe, maybe it is my jam. You just want it all for yourself, don't you, Barry? <laughs> oh, classic Barry. Oh, I wonder what could be around this super scary corner. Ooh. Oh, you don't say a zombie? I mean, I don't know it's a zombie. What am I on about? It, it's a man. Just a, a nice man with a crackled head. And he spilt his jam. That's where the jam is. Oh, he loves his jam. Oh, do you have any more? Show me where it is. Is it out here? Because I wouldn't mind having some jam on toast. I do love myself some jam on toast. I'll go show Barry because he seems to think it's blood or something. Barry! Barry, it? it's not blood, you idiot. Hey, that's a bit offensive. Let Just because he care. loves his jam. I guess Jill isn't a jam person then. Jill and jam don't go together. What the hell is this thing? It's a jam lover. There was no need to shoot him. God, Barry, you really do stress me out. Oh. Better report back to Wesker. I agree. Let's tell them what Barry just did. Maybe he's more of a margarine guy. M maybe. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Good idea, Barry. Let's look for Wesker. 
but not leave this hall. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he couldn't be here. Maybe he's hiding down here around back. Wesker, are you playing hide and seek without us knowing? Come out, come out, wherever you are. They luck, Jill? No. No, he wasn't round the corner. He could be in a different room. I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. The master of unlocking. Did he say the line? I don't know if he said it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Master of unlocking. Does he not say it? I thought he said, or is that, does he not say it in, in the remake? Huh. Oh well. Maybe the whole jam thing got to him. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know, I've played this before, you see. That, that's how I know where to go. <laughs> yes, I, I know my way around this game. Yes, I will take the dagger. Oh, a dead end. <laughs> Who would have known? It's almost like I have to walk back behind this corner. This scary, scary corner. Because... Oh, no, not another jam lover. Oh, he doesn't really look like a jam lover, actually. Come on now. Come on now. I know you love the jam and you're spreading it around. I get it. But I, I don't need my jam right now. Um, This isn't actually the way to do it, is it? I, I need the... I've done this wrong. Get down, Jill. Stop climbing about. I, I need to get that. Oh, I think I was meant to do that first. If I'm quick, I could maybe do this before he gets back up. Nope! I have not done this in time! Quick, Jill! Trap him! Trap him! <laughs> Stupid zombie! Stupid! Alright, but I, I do kind of need this set of drawers. I, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to get rid of you now. Oh, come on! Why was that not a headshot? Is he dead? I don't think he's dead. He's not dead. Yeah! Is he dead? I'm not so sure. You can never tell in this game. There's a map. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Very handy. Uh, I can't remember where I have to go now. Just just block the zombie off just in case it comes back, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know how many of you guys like this game. Have you, I mean, I know most people don't even bother trying to actually play it because of its outdated control scheme. I was actually the same way. I tried to get into it even before I played any of the other Resident Evil games a few years back. Yeah, I found it a bit too difficult just to get into. But honestly, once you get used to the control scheme, it's it's actually really easy to play. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Not yet. I feel a bit confident in myself to say that don't need it yet. Let's take a look out here. This is where my jam friend was. Let's see if he's still around. Jam guy, are you still here? Oh, is this where you got your jam from? Kenneth? Oh. Hello. Let's go this way. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. And he's covered in jam. Oh my God, what has gone on with the jam? There's something in there, jam. I'm just saying it now. Here we go, upstairs. Okay, this is the scary room, isn't it? Okay, there's herbs here. I don't need them just yet. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. That's such a nice message. Yeah, just just showing you guys what happens if you if you don't do this puzzle. You, you you die basically. So you have to put the key back. Oh my god, how do I put the key back? I was showing people what happens. Use, yeah, but just put it back, Jill. It's fine. I think you have to find a replica key somewhere. I, I think. So yeah, if you didn't know, it's a puzzle game. I did actually get caught out my first time playing, I, I, and I, 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 I got crushed. I'm getting to the point where I now realize I haven't saved the game at all, and I, I'm probably gonna die because of that. I just can't be bothered saving yet, you know. It's locked from the other side. It's where it all started. Oh yeah, the blue gem. Actually, 
Oh, oh my god, okay, I didn't realise he was there. I don't need that yet, that, that, that doesn't come into play until much later, does it? Well, you know, it, it's a bit of entertainment. I'll push it off now, why not? I mean, oh, I wonder how you get the blue gemstone, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like I'm figuring it out on the spot. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if that did anything. <gasps> a blue gem on the floor? You don't say. As if that worked, eh? As if. I don't remember where I go. I know there's a part with the dogs and the whistle, but you get the whistle from upstairs, is it? God, everywhere is locked. <laughs> Who owns a mansion and locks every single door? You just end up forgetting which key goes where and, you know, it's just... Ugh. <gasps> is the zombie gone? Oh no, there he is. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a cool build-up for something, you know, but... <laughs> nah, he's still there. It's a lot of backtracking. This is basically how it goes when you play it for the first time, by the way. You're just basically walking between rooms and doors over and over and over again. But then you start to memorize the map and the mansion and everything and it becomes really engaging after that. Like, really engaging. I don't remember, do I go this way? You know, we need some action for the video. You! Jam! Give me jam! Me and my friend Barry, I think we're getting a bit hungry, you see. I think that's why he shot you. I think he's a little hangry. But if you give us some jam, we'll just be on our way, eh? No? Okay then, I'll just squeeze past you there. Thank you very much. Okay, this goes to the basement, doesn't it? And I don't want to go to the basement, but I'm going to the basement anyway. <sighs> Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, sorry, jam friend, I'm coming back. I know you wanted that hug, but we're kind of social distance in here. No, I told you, social distance. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, jam friend. But I kind of need my dagger back, and this is a little awkward, but can I have my dagger back, please? You're not giving me it back, are you? <sighs> Look, you're bringing out my hungry side as well. Give me Jam. Give. Me. Jam. Oh my god, he gave me jam. Yes, Barry. 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 <laughs> we need to get the bread. Where? We've got the jam. I don't even know what I'm on about. I'm sorry, everyone. It is part of the new law, though. It was all about the jam. Okay, yeah, so I need to go this way, basically. Locked from the other side. You don't see. You don't see. Now I've wasted all my things. You know. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Can you stop chomping? Can I have my knife back, please? I'll take that as a no. Arrow? Oh, yes, I know where this goes. I unlocked it because I'm the master of unlocking. At least my unlocking skills came in handy. Ooh, I wonder what's through this secret door. A graveyard? Wait, I thought there were zombies out here. I mean, what, no, zombies? <laughs> There's no zombies in this game. There's just jam lovers. Uh, so we have to examine this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, have I figured it out? Oh, no way, you don't see. I mean, I am the master of unlocking after all. Some spooky face statues. Will you take the book of curses? Yeah, why not? Why not? And there's a key on the back. Just a generic one. Oh no, the sword key. Okay, so now that we've got a key, which door should we open first? Not that one. <laughs> Oh, this one works. Let's have a look what's in here. God, it must be a chore if you guest stay in this mansion or anything. It's like, oh, I, I'm over in the east wing of the building, but I really need the toilet, which is locked behind this door that needs a sword key. Will you take the dog whistle? Oh, yes, yes. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. This is where you come in. 
me? Only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. <laughs> Thank you, John. Sounds like he's got a nice little surprise gift for me. Oh, a lighter. I need to find a safe room. I think there's one out here. I, I think. If my memory serves me correct, I think there is one of them out here. Downstairs, is it? Because I... Oh my god, that is not a good place for a zombie. Oh, and there's one right down here as well. Oh, I thought I could get past you, but you're just spreading your jam. I don't want any jam. Not today. I should probably get rid of some of these. Shoot, I'm not quite okay with this. Come on, please. You're right next to the safe room. That's just really not good. Get off me! <laughs> Get off me! Okay. Okay, no, this isn't working. This is not working. Can I destroy... I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I do, but... I, I'm just not doing it very well. Get in there! Oh my god. Well done, Jill. Well done. At least they can't follow you through. How on earth am I nearly dead? It's almost like I've never played this game before. But I have. That's the thing. At least we've got an item box now. We'll make another save. Just just to be on the safe side. Not that I need it. I mean, I, I'm practically speed running the game at this point. Right, use the lighter, Jill. There we go. There we go. Good Jill. Get rid of the body. <laughs> Yay. Nobody else can take our jam from us now. Jam's gonna be all ours, Jill. I should have done this and then saved it. Because <laughs> otherwise when I reload, I'll have to do this all. Not that I'm gonna have to reload. What am I on about? Right. Oh, this is the room. I think this is the room for Jill. It is the room. You know, I know I can't take it, but just just for the just for the video. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh no, what is going on? A, a shotgun just hanging on the wall. Free to pick up. It's fine. A bit of dust. Oh well this house is falling. It's subsidence. Get out of there, Jill. The door won't open. Oh no, Jill, get out. Oh god. Oh what my god, have I actually killed Jill? Wesker! Jill, you in there? Barry, help! I found the... I've got the jam! Door's jammed! No, Stand you've back. got the jam, not the door. You've got the jam. Yeah, he... Well, that's what he heard anyway, so... Grab yeah. my hand! <sighs> he didn't want to miss out on that jam, <laughs> so I saved Jill. 